Hello everybody, welcome to Project Beauty where we talk about project panning and everything beauty related. My name is Jen. Today we're going to do my plan to pan project pan and I just want to show you everything that I have that I want to work on for the year. There are some things that I will be sharing with you that are in another drawer um, but they are already being worked on for the start of January and I've been really slow to get to this. In all honesty, I didn't even complete all of my inventory videos for the end of 2023 and I'm just starting to go into the next year. I'm like whatever. Next year I will figure it all out but it has been, excuse me, it's been a really crazy year. I have a tea. My throat is very, very dry, but I have tea here, so I may be drinking that from time to time. Um, but I wanted to share with you some of the drawers. So I have a huge drawer here full of makeup and stuff that I want to grab from throughout the year. And then I also have this one here. I got to be real careful because my back is about to go out, but I have a ton of stuff. So we're going to talk drawer by drawer. So the first drawer, I'm just going to show you a couple of the things that I have for lip pencils. I'm also working on a couple lip pencils that I want out, but the first one is the Milani Easy Liner for Lips Retractable Pencil in most natural i also have the chucky pencil in here it's not necessarily to completely use but i definitely want to get some use on it and then also i want to use up the milani anti-feathering lip liner and it's a transparent one so i want to get those done these two are the oldest so i want to get those done first and then i have a couple more products i'm going to go like container by container because I have little separations in here but the first one I have is this um buxom white russian lip gloss it's a little mini I thought I was done all of mine but apparently I have another one floating around and I also have a Costa Sport hyaluronic lip balm um this one's in the shade or the scent rush and it's really nice and I want to use that I also have one of these satin lips from Mary Kay lip balm and I'm already worked down some of this product so I can definitely get to that and finish that um in the project i have the sephora lip cream stain in the shade 72 this is a little light and cool tone i'm worried this will be concealer lips but i want to continue trying that maybe with the chucky lip pencil we'll see i also have the buxom plump shot this is just a clear one so i have to be careful how i use this and then i also have the revlon color stay matte light crayon in the shade tread lightly <laughs> i could not find that it's only on this label part so I can't take that off but it does have a sharpener and it is like a really fine pencil lipstick and it's actually really really pleasant so this one I think will be relatively easy to get through I've already started using that one the next is the blend bunny bare but there lip tinted lip oil and the only reason I put this in here is because it's thick there's no space in my lip drawer and it doesn't fit so I don't necessarily want to use this up but I want to complete some of it and then I also have another big product. I'm realizing I don't like chunky products. And this is the Maybelline Lip Vinyl or Vinyl Ink, pardon me, in the shade Cheeky. I also have Peachy, which I'm almost done. And then I have some minis. I grab these because I go through essential skincare all the time. This is Shiseido Essential Energy Hydrating Cream. I also have the Boisson Squalene and Marine Algae Eye Cream. And I also have the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. I have a Milk Makeup Pore Eclipse Matte Translucent Setting Powder. I did not realize that was a setting powder, but I love the fact that it's teeny tiny. And I have a um, Creme de la Mer, La Mer Moisturizing Cream. Love. I love everything by La Mer, but I just cannot afford it. <laughs> I also have, you're going to hear my son in the background. He is going nowhere. I want him to play with me and I want him to be in the room. So yeah, I also have the First Aid Beauty Ultra Pear Cream. It says for dry parched skin and I need hydration. So this is for me for sure. A couple more lip glosses, actually quite a few. The Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme in Pink Punch. I have the Pat McGrath Flesh 6 Mini Lust Gloss. Very neutral and matte. I have some from Buxom. I have one in Serena. I have one in Celeste. And I have one in Noel. So those ones will also go into projects. And then as far as more like sample -y things go, I have the Caudalie uh, Mask Instant Detox, which is really nice. And then I also have a Whey Detox Shampoo. Now I'm also working on um, a one that's like a refill size. So this one, 
I'm not sure if I'm going to get through this or if I'm just going to hang on to it for like travel or something like that. But it's really lovely and I can only use it on occasion because I was really drying out my scalp with this. It is really, really potent and strong. So if you have any skin sensitivities, only use this like once a month, honestly. It, it strips your skin. Like it strips your hair, it strips your skin. It detoxes everything from scratch, including your oils. So be very careful how often you use that. The next is the Ren Clean Skin Care Ever Calm Global Protection Day Cream. That's the Global Protection Day Cream. I'm sorry if you didn't hear that. The next is Living Proof Triple Bond Complex. Next is a hair strengthener. I have the Laneige Water Bank Blue Hyaluronic Cream Moisturizer. You can tell I like hyaluronic products. I also have a the Rich Cream from AB, which is Augustinus Bader. I think that's what it is. Bader or batter. I think it's Bader. And then we have Briogeo Farewell Frizz Blow Dry Perfection Cream. I have the Elizabeth Arden Retinol, Retinol and HPR Ceramide Water Cream. I have another Living Proof Triple Bond Complex Hair Strengthener. I also have a Innisfree Hydrating Cleansing Foam with Green Tea. So um, I love the fact that it's a foam and that's actually really nice. I have tried it before. Uh, the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drenched Hyaluronic Cloud Cream Moist Hydrating Moisturizer. I wish this was way bigger. I'm going to have to buy a big one. Um, so that's all the ones in that little section. And then for, we have a lot more of these little samples to go through, so I'll try and hurry up. But we have the Orig uh, Origins Ginseng Into the Glow Brightening Serum. I have a Mirad Targeted Wrinkle Corrector. I'm thinking this is for, it says everywhere. You can put it anywhere and avoid contact with eyes. So I'm thinking this is anywhere you have wrinkles on your face. Um, but that would be like around my eyes, so I don't know. We'll see. Some uh, mascaras. We have the Better Than Sex Mascara in a tiny size. Also, the Man Eater from Tarte Tiny Size. I have the Milk Makeup Rise Mascara, tiny size. And also the Grande Mascara. And this is like, I really want to try this. Because as you can see, I have long eyelashes, but I want them longer. <laughs> I want them longer. Okay. Um, next is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in Gummy Bear. Very excited for that one. And I also have the Innisfree Intensive Hydrating Cream with Green Tea Seed. And then last but not least in this drawer, we have a Tarte Moisturizer. I can't remember which collection this came from. It says Drink of H2O. It's a hydrating one, but it's a gel. So I'm like, mm, I'm not a super fan of gel hydrators or gel cleansers, but it has to be the right kind for me before I'll like fall in love with it. And from the next drawer, this is more of like taller stuff or bigger things. So as you can see, there's lots in here. Um, I'm going to try and be very careful about how I go about doing this. So the first part, I have a ton of masks in here, just a ton. I just grabbed a whole bunch and stuck them in here and I want to use those throughout the year. I also have my Kaoli perfume sample set and this is lovely. I've only used one so far, I think. Yeah, the very first one, which is the vanilla scent. And OMG, it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. Um, I also have some more samples here, which is the Gerla Aqua Allegoria. I also have the Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. I have the One Million Paco Rabone, which is that? It says Eau de Toilette, so I'm assuming it's... Um, yeah, I think it's a girly, like a girly one, a f more feminine leaning one. And then we have the Skylar Clean Beauty Peach Fields and the Ellis Brooklyn Apple Love. I only just grabbed a sample, like a ton of samples. I also have this Burberry Her, which is so cute. Oh my goodness. And um, a couple of these Anastasia Beverly Hill Brow Wiz. They're a skinny brow pencil. I have two of those. So, and then um, one eyeshadow palette I need to try, not to pan, but I need to try this year. And that's the Nude Rich from Huda Beauty. So I have used the Medium Rich, which I love. And I have used this before, but I want to get into these shades again. You can tell I like a deeper brown and I just, I'm going to love this. So those are the ones in this little compartment. And then also behind it, I have these... It says Rebels Refinery Mint and Vanilla Lip Balm. And the reason I bought these is because there are skulls. And you can tell, if you can see back here, <coughs> excuse me, I have skulls everywhere. I love it. I love it. I love it. So that one is going to stay. I'm going to try and use those. And I have the Saturday Skin um, 
what is this called? Something peeling, rub a dub refining peel gel. This was, I think, gifted to me from Valerie. Excuse me one second. Oh, tea is so good. I also have the kale and green tea spinach vitamins superfood cleanser. I have three of these and I would like to at least use one. I also have a gigantic one for a refill bottle that I bought because I loved it so much. And then I also have this um, Scandal Le Parfum. And I can't remember who makes Scandal right now. It's leaving my head. I have this perfume in the big size and this was one of the things that came with. So anyhow, that is in here. Also, I have the Way Scalp and Body Scrub, which I need to use this. Oh, I hear good things about this. I love the Way products. Oh my God, it smells so good and fresh. Mm, 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 mm. For scalp and body, yes, please. Okay, and then I also have the Alley Oop Trio Pack. Um, for some reason, I just feel like I can't handle that it opens like this. But I, I think the products inside are lovely and I can't wait to try. And I should be using it because this is a bron bronzer contour and I could use that right now because it's so light. So I think I'm going to crack that open soon and use that. And then I have a ton of little stuff here. Lots of lipsticks and things. The first one that I have that's small is a Sunday Riley CEO Brightening Serum. I should be getting that done. I haven't written any of this stuff down so I definitely need to write all this down so I see what I get through. I have a Shiseido Benefiance Wrinkle Smoothing Eye Cream and I have a couple of oh actually a lot of lipsticks here. We have the Melt Lipstick in the shade Old Fashioned. It's a matte lipstick. I'll try and show you all of these. It looks like this but it's very like grungy and not it's like not typically a lip color that I wear and I've already gotten rid of stone from Mac and I'm sending that to Deb at some point but um I was like I I need to at least try this because I haven't really tried it yet I also have the shade pleasure from Milani and this one's almost almost full it's I've used it a bit though so it's got a little bit of a head start and I have a brand new wet and wild lipstick in the shade think pink which these used to be super popular. I'm not so sure why they're trying to do the Pat McGrath dupe. I like the Wet n Wild lipsticks in the past before that even. They're a really good formula, honestly. I have a YSL lipstick in the shade 01, which is an absolutely stunning red. I have two of these. This is a lot of product you're getting. Like, a lot. So I definitely want to try that. I also have a lipstick from MAC in the shade Come Over. Really gorgeous color. I also have from Essence the shade Naughty. Ooh, that was really hard to turn up and down. Um, I have a foundation sample from House Labs by Lady Gaga. And this is in the shade 100. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, I could use that right now. It's very pale. Very, very pale. I think if I ever get a sample from her again, it will be the shade down so I can mix it. The next is the Shiny Darden Retinol. I believe I'm working on two of these right now or something similar. And then I have the Face Moisturizer Lightly Tinted 35 SPF from Coats. Coots? Might be Coots because there's a dash on top of the O. Anyway, this is for your face. And then I also have an Anastasia Beverly Hill Clear Brow Gel in a teeny tiny mini. I gotta see what this looks like. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That is so cute. Okay, that is super duper cute. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Adorable. And then I have two, last but not least, two liquid um, highlighters from Iconic London. So very, very excited to use those. So that's everything that I have in here right now in the, um, what do you want to call that? The drawers, the drawers that I have. And now we're going to talk about something else. So, um, you guys know my goal is to use this. I can show you because I've barely made any progress on this, but this is what it's looking like right now. And I would like to get this out of my collection, but I know it's not going to happen in 2024. I would also like to get this out of my collection. Again, this is probably not going to happen in 2024, but I will share this with you because I have some good progress, but it's nowhere near being finished. Um, and then also this one I cannot show you because I do have good progress on this, but this one is the one I would like to be completing this year. I want to finish this entirely and I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that, but I am certainly going to try. Um, 
I think that's it in that drawer. I may, I may shoot to do finish this melt fair powder because I have a really good dip going in this, but I need to remember to grab it. It isn't a project, but I just have it in a drawer that it shouldn't be in right now. And then I think I want to say I have a goal to finish this little hourglass one, but I don't know if I'll be able to. I don't know. But there's only, does it say how much? I think I covered it here. How much product is in this? 1.3 grams. I should be able to finish that if I really, really, really try. I should throw some on today. Um, I do have a few more products that I want to finish. So this L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear in 120 Vanilla. I would like to get this out of my collection. It's not opened. It's brand new. It's unopened, I think. Yeah, it's unopened. So that one I would like to finish. Um, I would also like to finish this Physician's Formula Butter Glow Bronzer. I would also like to finish um, this Marc Jacobs Mascara, which will be done very soon. Also the Fenty Beauty one I would like to finish very soon. I would also like to finish this NYX California Beeman this year, if possible. And I'd like to finish my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer this year. And also my Kosas Concealer. I would like to finish those. I would also like to finish this foundation from Too Faced Born This Way in Light Beige. I actually really like this, but I would like a shade up, I think, because I have a lot of dark foundation. Um, I also want to finish my little glow screen. I am so close to finishing this, so that one will be done soon. And... Um, yeah, I have a few. So this lip gloss I would like to finish from Maybelline. It's in the shade 003 Moon. Again, I told you guys about this in the shade uh, Peachy. I want to finish that one. It's almost done. Kind of almost done. I want to finish this Backtalk lipstick from Urban Decay. It's almost done. I also have a Milani lipstick in my purse, but I'm not going to get it out right now. And ugh, this saddens me, but this is definitely a goal to finish this year, which is the MAC lipstick from Nicki Minaj. And oh my God, it's so beautiful. This is in the shade Nicki's Nude and I love it. And I think that's everything I want to complete this year. There's more. I know there's more, but that's the main things I want to focus on. Everything else is a perk. So... I hope you guys enjoyed that. There's a lot of, I know I want I should be like, I want to finish a blush. I want to finish whatever. I'm not going to be able to do that because I'm already trying to work on face palettes and that needs to happen because I have so many face palettes. I can't even fit them all in the drawer. It's, it's a thing. And I'm going to continue to buy like the Patrick Ta face palette for the holiday and all that stuff. So I know if I'm going to keep adding in there, something has to give. So I'm trying to be very hard on myself and make sure that I'm not overbuying in other areas because it's going to take away from using the stuff that I'm trying to work on. And also I need to focus on this other stuff and just use this organically so that I feel like I'm not forcing myself and that'll make me feel so much better. So that's everything that I have for Plan to Pan right now. Um, I'm sure that I will add stuff or whatever as the year goes on. But for now, this is the things that I would really like to see done. I would like to have all the stuff in these drawers dwindle down to absolutely nothing. I know I'm going to have things left over at the end of the year, but I'm okay with that. And I'm really looking forward to like striving this year and making impact and making uh, a dent in my makeup collection. I'm so excited for 2024. So I hope you guys are enjoying all of my projects and all of my videos that are coming out in 2024. I'm trying to do a few new things for you guys, including way more reviews on the products that I'm using and giving you guys more makeup tips and tricks and more will be coming. So let me know in the comments what you'd like to see and other um, items that you may like to see me pan and yeah that'll be it and I hope you guys like and subscribe and stay for a little while and I'll see you in the next video bye